uh, Donald Trump's, um, you know, hush money case. I don't know if you guys have been following, um, but we are almost done, I guess. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening. We'll give a, a a little bit of a rundown here of what's been going on. Is it on. a hush money case, though? Well, the whole thing, right, was they're trying to say that he paid her off mm -hmm. um, with uh, his lawyer, right, Cohen, and also violated business, like, uh, I forgot the, the legal term, but like business money slash election funds, uh, yeah. funds, right? So the whole thing is like, you know, it's it's hush money, right? Because they they paid her to shut up about the right. quote unquote I, affair or not, right? Right. But they're trying to. I think they're what they're trying to do is paint it as uh, election tampering. Right. That's what they're right. which really, is a felony. Yeah. Right. Right. That's what they're really trying to say it as because because he's trying to deceive the voters by not letting them hear what's really going on. So they're they're really trying to considering it as that, right? As election tampering type of deal. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't been following um uh the hush money, right now we are so there's like a th there's twelve steps, um, and we are on step number nine, which is where the jury um starts to deliberate, right, with each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. Um you know, they heard all the testimony um, from both sides, from all the witnesses and all this other stuff. Right. And and touching on the witnesses part, you have um, some the the defense kind of uh, placing doubt on uh, Stormy Daniels testimony uh, because they said that the first day where she's talking about um what happened that day between her and Trump when she visited Trump Tower? They said that she looked nervous. She looked like uh, she was like stuttering and all this other stuff. Um, so they, they were trying to create doubt into uh, uh, into what she was saying, right? Because it seemed like she was just making it up as she goes. Um, and then the second day where she was on the stand, she was like more calm and like answering the questions like directly and stuff like that. So they were trying to say that. You know, when you lie, psychologically, like looking around or you're kind of like fidgety and mm -hmm. um, stuttering and stuff like that. So that's kind of interesting the way the the, the defense uh, plays it. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Austin Faust says, no hush money. People settle every day. Uh, Jay Zale says, hashtag free Trump. She's got uh, Jay Zale says, ninjas in D.C. be paying off hoes for decades. Nothing to see here. Ah. Yes, mm. that's, that's that's very true. That's very true. Um, but yeah, so um, did you guys know that one of the jurors is a lawyer? Really? Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. How do they even allow that? Right. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, when, do, when does your profession bar you from being selected as a juror? all the time in jury duty well if it's related if it has anything to do with the case they usually will get you out of there like if it's something that's gonna give you like a leg up because you know something yeah. about whatever well, it is that they're discussing they don't want you there usually yeah but still the still he's he still has to hear both sides of the story right he's not defending trump or stormy daniels right with his lawyer or lawyer talk lawyerness um, <laughs> I, I can understand for example yeah, for example, my wife had to go to jury duty and it was for uh, a case that involved a teacher, right? And they asked her, uh, uh, the question is, uh, well, the lawyers, right? When, you, when you're being selected, they asked her, um, are you in favor of teachers, you know, um, overall, like in the school system? Do you feel like they're underpaid or anything like that? And my wife said, yes. And then they told her immediately, okay, we don't need you anymore, right? Because her bias was already there. You know, for the the teacher, right? Right, right. Um, so I guess the lawyer dude could have answered, you know, non biasly. So, yeah, little 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 tab. It. Um, the jury consists of five women, seven men, and six alternate uh, alternates. Um, and 
yeah, the alternate thing was kind of confusing because it's like, well, why do you need these people? Uh, but then, uh, sh- shout out to me, Kev. He explained that, um, you know, they're there in case something happens to the actual mm-hmm. uh, jurors, right? Then somebody has to, like, kind of, like, sub in, mm-hmm. um, in essence. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, five women, seven men, six alternates. And, yeah, so... Uh, Trump has been on his platform, Truth Social, talking about the greatest case I've ever seen for reliance on counsel and Judge Merchan will not, for whatever reason, let me use that as a defense in a rigged trial, another term, advice of counsel defense. So it's kind of like classic Trump, right, where he's kind of as well, like so in doubt in uh, the judicial system and uh, election systems and all that stuff because it's it it doesn't seem like it's kind of like going his way right um and some of it might be warranted right uh with a lot of things that he says maybe it is unfair um but yeah uh jay salai says stormy and and call me hate trump their testimony is unreliable did the judge change the rules? I heard he said it doesn't matter if you think he's guilty of this; he can be guilty of anything. You saw, you saw Trump was in the Bronx, right? Yes, I did see that. Um, he had to jump in too. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. Um, oh, that's crazy. That, and it's interesting because you didn't, and you know, we spoke about this offline, but you you didn't, you never saw that in 2016, um, no. with with anybody predominantly like especially you know in the rap game um kind of like endorsing him mm-hmm. um in a sense um but there was also a lot of backlash people didn't like that he was there um as always right but then this is the first former president slash president that has visited the bronx like that like why doesn't biden do that you know he, was, <laughs> he probably was asleep somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of the Memorial Day service where he was sleeping? No, I didn't see that. Stop. Uh, he was knocked. He was KO'd. Oh, and then the man. camera zoomed in on him, bro. Oh, man. KO'd. That's that's terrible. <laughs> I, at this point, you just you really feel bad, right? Like, that's somebody's grandpa. Like, bro, that's it. It's called just... Sleepy Joe for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for the um debate show. That's gonna be entertainment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um but we'll anyway, see we'll, we'll see what yeah, yeah. Back to the, the, the case. Um do you guys think that he can get uh prosecuted for this? Do you think he'll play time? Because there was a report that said that FBI is already talking to the city yeah. um, to kind of like coordinate. Uh, Secret Service. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Secret Service uh, yeah, yeah. to kind of coordinate like, you know, the jail stuff. Right. Because he has uh, Secret Service for life. Right. Wherever he is, they got to be. So if he goes to jail, you know, mm. that's wild. They got to be there, too. But. So I don't know, man. It's so up in the air, like, because I've even seen, um, I was reading recently and I forgot exactly what it was. And sorry, but um, th- uh, the person that I was reading it from was basically saying that um, that the prosecution slipped up on, on um, I guess, their, whether it was their closing or they did something where it kind of it doesn't look like it's in their favor. Um, but I don't know, because they're saying two things that I did here was that uh, Michael Cohen is working out of vengeance. So, right, because he's, he's he was really stuck on the fact that um, he wanted to pay back. Right. Like he was uh, even had the Twitter video, excuse me, TikTok videos where he was basically just speaking on how he just wants that revenge on him. And then um, Stormy Daniels, uh, when she testified, it was. Um, that I believe she wanted to um, the uh, sell books, right? So she admitted that she, she, you know, she was trying to sell books too. So to me, it just seems like, I mean, the whole point of everything, all of this coming out is be- for their own gain. So I don't know. So yeah, I, I, I think the the kind of the questionable things for me is, um, right? Michael Cohen gave the the money um, to her, but mm-hmm. then Trump decides that he's going to give 
like little bit at a time to Michael to repay him. And then on top of that, gave him a little extra more um, because I think they said, like, well, if he pays that money, then there's like taxes involved and all this other stuff. So mm-hmm. they paid him more to like compensate uh, for that. Mm-hmm. So, so um, technically, did he pay her? The, and see, and and, and that's kind of like what the you know the trial kind of c- can get uh, up to, oh, right? Because yeah, yeah. can you prove that? Can he? Can you really say, yeah, Donald Trump paid her? Um, even though Michael Cohen was the one that sent the money. But then Michael Cohen was saying, yeah, he paid her. So Yeah, yeah. So But that's what they're trying. I guess that's what they're trying to like, yeah. But is right, he right. saying that because he really wants revenge? Or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So who knows? Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of the um uh descriptions, right, with the bookkeeper as well, because she was also on the witness. Yeah. Um she would say, oh, this is like, you know, consulting or this is, uh, you know, things yeah. like write-offs, basically, right, for for each amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which is, you know, totally legitimate uh, in a sense, right, because when you have a business, you can write off stuff. Um, but it, it'll definitely be interesting to see what what, what occurs. Um, if, he, if he gets convicted, I think there might be an uproar. Um, uh, of people, uh, MAGA. You think? Who is it? What they do to the? Um... <laughs> I mean, that's what they said about the election, right? But nothing really happened. Nothing I, happened. If you if you don't include, I guess January sixth, but even that wasn't, I guess, fully MAGA. Uh, I know, but I'm saying, I, like, if they thought that happened, what you think will happen if do get locked up? Yeah, it's gonna be. It might be uh, pandemonium. Yeah. What do you think happens if he doesn't? Nothing. People are just gonna be angry. Uh, d- definitely. Um, I don't think. I think definitely, uh, Biden loses, and he's gonna get a lot more votes. Uh, for 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 that. Um, but what did you mean, Bree? Did you mean like in the sense of what, like people up in uproar? Like like, mm-hmm. Not yeah. uproar. Like backlash. I mean, maybe maybe complain. for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people will complain, mm. but and then be like, "That's why we need to vote." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but people will be. That's what it really, yeah. really happen. On the other side, they might flip out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what do is, you guys do? You guys also feel because this is kind of how I think about it too, right? Because he's yeah. such a predominant figure, like he'll get off easy. Mm-hmm. You know, you um, like, and you off. really do you really want to say that you put a uh, number one, a former president, and mm-hmm. then a f- uh, presidential candidate behind bars? That's what they want to do. I mean, I feel like it's a small group of people, but then I feel like I think it's a small group of people that that would like that. But then there's also the other side was like, oh, I don't know how this this looks for the United States, right? I mean, has there been a president that has ever been been to jail? I don't think so. Yeah, so they want him to be the first. Sure, he's gonna, he gonna go to Rikers, get tatted up. <laughs> They're gonna be chilling with the homies. He gonna come back totally different. <laughs> He'll come back, your. <laughs> How long is he looking at if he does get locked up? That's I think up to the judge. Oh. Um yeah, but um so uh my notes here says the judge has a lot of options. Trump could serve 30 days in prison or up to four years. Um, oh, okay. But it also depends on they don't give him a 30. But it depends you know, on it, it depends on what the what they find him guilty of. Mm. Um because all it takes, it, it really just takes one juror to say um, no, and everything is over. You like, know what no. they said? Yeah. What, what they, so what they're believing is going to be a hung jury. Yeah, hung jury. Right. Because they said, I think they were saying they believed that seven of them looked like they were ready to say not guilty. So. Oh, wow. How many charges are there? that he's 34. 34 <laughs> felony accounts. All 34 are all felonies. Wow. 
Yeah, that's it's, crazy. It's, They're trying to put him <laughs> under the jail. <laughs> trying to throw away the key. But <sighs> yeah, so um, yeah. It, guy, oh, look at this guy. It'll be in here. I just got here. Start over. Yo, hit the rewind button, Riggs. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Jimmy says the real question will be 45 be blood or like cake? <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Oh, man. Hilarious. Hilarious. But, um, yeah. yeah. I don't know, yeah. man. There'll probably be a hung jury. Then they ain't going to be able to retry. And then if he wins, it's a rap anyway. He's gonna pardon himself. <laughs> <laughs> pardon himself. Yeah. So I mean, what could you like at that point, right? Like, what do you do? Once it's a hung jury, they're not gonna you're not they're not gonna get a trial going before the election. So they're not definitely gonna not. And even then, like, all right, they got him back in the trial. Well, look, this is why are we doing this again? Like we stop wasting, you know, time and all this other stuff when this was already the big if he wins, will we call him forty seven? Mm. Um. Yeah, technically, right? I guess. He's 45 and 47? Yeah. 4, 5, 7. Ooh. 4, 5, 7. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know yeah. what we want to do. Yeah. I don't yeah, know, whatever. Yeah. Our, see, uh, when is this supposed to close out? When is it supposed to be over? I mean, they're deliberating now, right? So it could be any moment. Right. Uh, maybe end of the week. Who, who knows? Who knows? I'm about to find out if he's gonna be making grilled cheese with an iron. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but that's crazy. Like to see the Secret Service gonna be like in the shower with him. I mean, I don't know about in the shower. Not in the outside. shower. Like no be outside. Like he, yeah, he'll he'll probably have the shower to himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he gonna be nope. running, he gonna be moving different, like a mob boss. Basically, yeah. but they gotta be like tough secret, like secret service men, like because they can get jumped. They gonna have their guns. I mean, I don't know if that. I, mm, that's a good question. You know what I'm saying, because yeah. then they get jumped for their guns. Now we got a riot. Yeah. Now Trump is free. He's on the loose. Bro, they can't even yeah. let this happen. Just oh, like look at this. Just based off of that, they can't have them. First of all, yeah. he has to have the dudes. They can't have them in there. Bro, they just gonna have to let them go. Like, suck it up. Mm -hmm. Or just Pablo Escobar would have let them stay in Trump Towers for 30 Oh, like, a, like house arrest? Yeah. Mm, that could be possible. Because yeah. you can't put them in jail with armed security, yo. Maybe they'll have like a section of the jail strictly for Trump. The Trump jail. Yeah, I don't know. He likes real estate. Yeah. So, JJ says wasting taxpayer dollars. Meanwhile, Venezuelans robbing up people and we're seeing dudes in VK shooting victims. Mm, right, like yeah. they ain't got bigger fish to fry, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, New York, yo. Yeah, 